Hi friends and welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be using Amazon recognition to do image recognition, like saying this picture is a car or this picture is a person. But first, just a quick mention here about where recognition sits in the overall artificial intelligence and machine learning stack at AWS. It's at this very top level here, AI services. Generally speaking, this top layer means that all of the messy details of building machine learning model and training it and so on, all of that is abstracted away. And you can simply pass in an image or a video or what have you, and recognition will give you a prediction of what it is. What we're going to be doing in the upcoming demo is we'll create an S3 bucket and upload our photos to it. Then we're going to use the AWS Software Development Kit, or SDK, the Python flavor, though there's also support for Java, Node, .NET, and Ruby as well. And we're going to use recognition to grab those images from the S3 bucket, analyze them, and then output a label that says what this image is, whether it's a car, a person, a house, a mountain, whatever it is. And then we also get a confidence level of how sure recognition is about that label, and that's going to be 0 to 100%. So let's go. First things first, let's create an S3 bucket and upload some photos to it. So I'll come to S3. We'll create a new bucket. And I'll just call this test recognition and then today's date. Just a note that your S3 bucket does need to be in the same region where you're going to be running your code from. For me, that's going to be US East 2 or Ohio, so I'll leave that. I'll leave everything else the same and say create bucket. All right, so let's scroll down and click into that bucket and then upload a couple of photos. Here I have a photo of a car and a person, so I'll just grab both of those and drag them over and upload. And that should be everything we need to do in S3. So I'll close out of this. Now to work with the code, the SDK, I'm going to be using the Cloud9 integrated development environment. This is the one, of course, that's hosted in AWS. But if you have a local IDE or whatever your favorite setup is, feel free to use that. All right, first things first, down here, we need to install Python. So we'll say pip install boto3. And then let's go up to File, New from Template, and we'll create a new Python file. You can name it whatever you want. I'll just leave mine untitled 1.py. And then I have some code here. This comes straight from the AWS documentation for recognition, and I've included a link for it in the description below. So I'll just select all of this, copy, and then paste it into our Python file over here. And let me just zoom in a little bit to make this easier to read. There we go. So in this code, we're setting up the Python client here. This is how we know we're going to be using recognition. And then the method that does the magic here is detect labels. And we're saying go out to this S3 bucket and grab this image and detect labels for it. So we are going to need to update the bucket and photo here. So bucket name back here to S3. I'll just grab that. And then in single quotes here, paste that in. And then for photo, we're just going to do one at a time. In the real world, obviously, you would have some code to iterate through these. But let's grab car.jpg. These do need to be JPEGs or PNGs in order for it to work. And then a bunch of print statements down here to output the results. All right, let's run this and see what we get. Or let me first save. So Control S. And then we'll run. And let's see what we got. So this is for the car image. Let me just show you a larger version of that. So you'll see the angle and the things that are most prominent in the image. So let's come up here and see what recognition thought. So wheel is the highest confidence. You'll see 99.82% there. Next is machine. Then we have tire, car wheel, and then car, just plain old car. 98.14%. And then the bounding box, these are the coordinates of where the thing was detected in the image, so where the car was or where a person was. Instances just means the number of instances or number of times it saw that thing in the image. So if you had two people, for example, it would show two instances and each one would have its own bounding box. And then parent, this is the overall category that car falls into. 
and you'll see some of the other labels here that it's coming back with. We did tell it to only do a max of 10 labels up here, so if you increase that, you could get more labels back if you wanted them. All right, now let's do the person image. I'll just update this here. We'll save and run. And let me show you a larger version of the person image. Here we go. So let's see what we came up with for labels on this one. Scrolling up. So first we actually have clothing, 98.86%, and then person, confidence level just a little bit lower than that. Only one instance, there was the bounding box, and then some other labels down here as well. It found the laptop, the lab coat, the coat, sleeves, bicycles, sunglasses, and so on. So it'd be really fun just to pass different images in here and kind of see what it comes up with. But those are the basics of working with recognition for image recognition. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button and also consider subscribing for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.